Dr. Tomita will, um, will tell us about the performance of the new generation of sinusoidal trifocal lens. <clears throat> thank you very much, uh, introduction, and thank you very much to uh, VSI papers. I'm very honored to be here. So today I'm going to talk about excellent performance of new generation sinusoidal trifocal lens. Pronunciation is very difficult for Japanese. Thank you very much. <laughs> I've tried to do my best. So tra this is a slide show, the traditional IOLs. The traditional IOLs overlapping corrections. So I, I'm doing a lot of multifocal lens implantations. With the patient have uh, you know, problems come back. Almost time in the night vision problem. Decrease the contrast sensitivity. The you know, patient is angry to me. So if before surgery, I could see the, with the dim light, but it's now, it's very hard. So, you know, this lens is, you know, previous, I, I use a lot of fine vision before, but, you know, now uh, we, we get new solutions. So, and then also between the 15 to 20% right loss in the, so that that's means the patient is angry, you know. The rear vision at the transition zones, and then also hard and gray problem is at night. So even double focal lens, also try focal lens, it's, it's most, both of them is coming for this kind of complications. So, and the new lens is, you can see here, the tri focal lens, it's, it's distance, intermediate and years. It's, and also the new lens, it's, you know, visual quality near vision to intermediate vision from the, you know, intermediate vision it's very smooth, you know, and then so also we can decrease the, you know, use of the reading glass for the PC and also mobile phone, able to treat, treat the cataracts and the perspective at the same time. So also balanced right distributions and then far right is 41 percent, uh, the 30 percent intermediate and then 29 percent near visions and the very good designs. And the unique refraction zones are graphed right in the all three vision with that uh, long right distributions. <coughs> Losing the right distribution. Great contrast sensitivity even under the low light conditions. Uh, this is a new lens. You can see sinusoidal patterns like that. And then, so, uh, light loss comparison study here, so and then they this done the VSY companies, and then so Tehoka lost only the eight percent, and the fine vision losing the fourteen percent, and the at least also fourteen percent. Pan optics twenty percent they lose the light and into the retinas. Yeah, so Tehoka lens is a new model of the Tehoka lens with central pattern and head off. So since Tehoka lens have a unique twelve unique read ways to create the highlight in the transmission and the optimum right distribution through the optical diameters. So uh, like this, yesterday I discussed with, uh, in the BSY booth, in the BSY papers, why I couldn't understand why, you know, lens will be down, uh, distribution down. It's, I, now I understand, you know, better contrast sensitivity, then we give your performance or distance, and the since I do for the micro incision for cutter surgery is easier. So you can see here is U.S. Air Force standardized reversion target test. I, I usually, I, I, when I talk with the patients, I can show the this, this, this graphics. You know, if it's Torinova, it's far vision uh, with uh, uh, photopic conditions. You know, fine visions and another atelier and the fine optics. It's lose the intermediate right like this. Then Torinova is a very clear, and the near vision also compared to the other three lenses, it's much better. And then also in the dim light, so with the far visions, even far visions, another lens is a little bit its quality is down. That's why you know I I I, I recommend it to the patients. So and also in the in, in the surgery rooms, it's very easy to move it for the toric lenses. So, and then this study, we already implanted, I think it's almost 200, but it, this study is only 50. So, Akriba Tunable Lens is a new, you know, model of trifocal lens with the sinusoidal patterns and the head of. To evaluate the clinical outcome of the Akriba Tunable Lens, we analyze the clinical outcome of Akriba Tunable. 
So this study's size is only 53 eyes were implanted at Agriva Tony Lawrence from the February to August. The patient mean age was 60 years old. And then I clicked the distance visual acuity period of operate period was 2105, and then correct the distance visual acuity was 2022. And the intermediate visual acuity 2016, 60. And then all the near visual acuity was J5, and the correct the near visual acuity was J3. Per operative MRC was minus 3.8 to the after. So these are videos for the surgeries. After I removed the lens, uh, injected as the same as another lenses, and then so we, I use this uh, lens hook into the back. So, uh, and then after lens implantations, it created anterior chambers to remove the viscoelastic. That's all. It's it's completely the same as another lenses, you know. But if, if I my impressions, if compared to lentis or another len, another fine vision, it's easy to move. But I don't have any experience after surgery. The lens is moving. I don't have any experience in these lenses. I use this lens, this company lenses over six years, but I, I don't have any lens. Uh, you know, charity, they were moving and after surgery, so I don't have any experience. So, and the refraction was significantly improved after surgery. Before surgery, it's minus 3.8, minus 3 and then to the almost plano, but it's a little bit hypercorrection like this, but this is uh, for patients. Uh, with the optometrist, you know, if refractometers with the machines, it's around minus minus five to plano, or minus one to minus minus one to plano. It's it's with machine. But if we give the some lenses with patient, it's a little bit over corrections. This is my point. You know, that's. Uh, we just uh, started uh, these 50 cases. That's why, you know, maybe we should a little bit slightly target to the myopias. That's a that's key. You have to bring to your home t if you use these lenses. So, but even that, uh, the angle of the distance visual acuity is very good. You know, you can see here, the angle of the distance visual acuity is uh, less than minus uh, 0.2 uh, before surgeries, but after surgeries, uh, the patient averages over the 1.2. It's very good at distance visions. And uh, uncle, the intermediate visual acuities at the before surgery was 2060. And then after surgery, improved to the 2022 at three months. It's very good. And then uh, uncle, the near visual acuities, and um, also it's very good. Me, uncle, the near visual acuity improved from the put up rate with J. 0.5, J5 to J, J2 at three months post-operatively. So patient satisfaction is very satisfied and, and satisfied is <coughs> occupied to 92% of patients were satisfied after the surgeries. Only 8% were unsatisfied. You know, this surgery, I, I'm charging to the patient this with, with laser plus this lens and the surgeries, i charging, I think it's 15,000 euro of both sides. That patient have to pay a lot of money. In Japan, if you use this lens, it's no insurance is used. Patient have to pay all money themselves. That's why patient is thinking to they can get uh, you know perfect visions after surgeries. They ex high expectations. So it's, uh, I think it's even one patient even distance at 2020 near J1, they have a complaint, disappointed. That why I, I asked them, it's, uh, it's different from I was in kids, you know? <laughs> yeah, of course, your retina is uh, al already 80 years old, you know, different. So that's why some, uh, it's, uh, some patient is uh, unsatisfied, but its result is very good. So conclusions, clinical outcome of turnover lens show that significant improvement of uncluded distance visual acuity and uncluded near visual acuity and the intermediate visual acuity also. And uh, this study showed uh, since sodial new pattern lens is out of lens was safe and effective for cataract patient. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Thank you, Dr. Tumita. Thank you very much for these results. Uh, you already implanted 53 eyes in this study, which is quite a number. Um, 
May I ask you about this hyperoptic shift, slight hyperoptic shift that you get? Did, did it affect the vision in uh, any way, uh, you think, or is this lens a bit more, let's say, tolerant? If we take our refractometers, maybe even target to Pranos, Johnson and Johnson lens showed that minus 0.5 to minus 1, something like this. Everyone knows that. So <laughs> it's like an Adolf effect. Mm -hmm. So maybe this Adolf effect, and then, so I worry about patient is want to get at least a 20, 20 whole distance. And then, so I, 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 my target actually is just a Purano or a little bit of Emperops, mm -hmm. Hyperops, Hyperops. Point two, point zero, Purano to point, uh, zero point 0.1 diopter is my target for this lens. Right. That's why, so it's lens is going to the targets, but uh, for near vision, if you want to show the J1 for near vision, maybe slightly you know, myopic is better. You seem to have a low myops also in the group, low myopia, ho, ho. which is not a traditional uh, type of multifocal eye wells. Do you feel confident with the group of uh, myopia? Yes, yes, yeah. I, I understand. So the low myopia people already see the near vision, right? Even that, it's, I, I implanted a lot. So it's, the result is good, and then so patient satisfaction is also good. Could you, for questions, use microphone, please, so that others will hear? May I just ask you in between, uh, did your impression or patients with an impression about the halos and glare comparison yes, to other yes, lenses? Yes, yes, yes. I, I, you know, I was, I, I, I get the award from the Fiji or over 1,000 implantation in Asia in the last years. I, I implanted a lot of Fiji lenses. At the time, the, some patient, <clears throat> had a complaint of Harland Greers. And some patient is angry, and some patient called to the government. You know, <laughs> I get uh, Harland Greers after surgeries. But in the, after this, uh, this range, is, I, I don't have any experience with the patients who complain the Harland Greers. I just wanted to ask if they yes. complain uh, exactly about something special, glare or so, or nothing? Or just they saw better? As they were kids. So exactly. for, for this range is? Yes, the eight percent. Okay, eight percent. So eight percent is, you know, I I, told, I already explained. Some patients have very good visions with measurement, even that sometimes have a complaint. But you know, sometimes patients take time to see the near visions. But the one week, one month, sometimes it's not good. But the one if wait three months, sometimes patients are getting near visions. More. So I, I, this, um, the, uh, we're asking the uh, you know, survey to the patients in the one month. It's been very short times. That's why you know, I have some complaint. Well, thank you very much. Thank I think we, we need to move on to the next speaker, Professor Eva Mrukwa Kominek, chairman in uh, the hospital in Katowice. <laughs>